Hey everyone, so yeah, it is super late right now as you can see by the clock. I just been working on some stuff and I forgot I gotta do one video today. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna talk about drawing overrides and how you can use this to your advantage. Uh, this is mostly gonna be kind of like part of rigging, but you can use it for like controllers that you know might be a little bit confusing, like which one was it, you know, what, what side does it belong to. Um, or you just change the color if you want. So drawing overrides means I guess you can override the color. And I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna override the color and the reason why is let's say in rigging, like let's say I had like this ostrich. And yes I know I don't have the ge geometry but that's not really essential for this. Uh, but like maybe say you're having trouble and it happens all the time. You get tired and, and you mix up what side is which and you start labeling these things because you, know, you should have a good um, concept of like labeling when you go into like, you know, painting weights and all those other, other things. You really should be able to tell what side belongs to what and it will get confusing like on those late nights. You just don't want to get a major setback where you just lose like an hour or two hours God forbid if it's a day. Uh, so you can change the color. Uh, also, it prevents like visual like confusion. So some people have no, I think it's called spatial recognition or spatial realization. Uh, I know it's kind of like a test in like, I think for NASA, I think, but that's a whole other thing. I, but to change the color on controllers, and you can have any, any color, but I would highly suggest don't make it bright green like this. Because then, when you go to select it, you have no idea if you selected it or not. <laughs> uh, but and also, don't make it white. Because look at that. Don't make it any of these two colors because you just for the sake of your sanity. So, <laughs> all right. So, what I like to do is often pick two colors, and my favorite two colors for this um, are blue and red. And that's like blue would be left, right would be red. So, if that makes any sense. Uh, you go down, first off, it's a tree just like, you know, we have no idea what's going on, and we don't know where to find us, and I'm like, where do I go to change the colors? Well, you're going to hit a pretty cool uh, keystroke called um, Control A, and that brings up the attribute editor. This is like, kind of like your channel box, but way more intense, way more informative, you can do way more things. And then you go into, not component display, you go to object display. And then from there go down to drawing overrides. Alright. And this will only change the one that you selected. So then keep drawing, uh, sorry, enable overrides on. Uh, you go to normal, I just put them in full, full level of detail, and then switch the color to RGB. So if it's, uh, and for rigging, I always like the anatomy perspective of things or direction, so you would say the ostrich's left foot, not, not our right, because if it's our right, then the, you, you go, wait, right side? No, 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 the left. So <laughs> you just don't want to mix it up, um, especially when you're labeling and when you go into labeling, it can be very cumbersome. You just want it really straightforward, um, you know, labeling if you, you know, if you wanted to label this here, you know, you would say left, like underscore ostrich foot. But if you mix up the colors and you start like taking things for granted and you're, or you're just in a hurry or you're just tired like I am right now, uh, you can mix it up and it will make your life painfully difficult for a few hours and you would wish, I, you know, you would basically say, I wish I would have paid more attention to this video. No, it's good. <laughs> you would have basically said, I wish I would have had the foresight to be more uh, detailed oriented, so more organized. And it, it just prevents so many workflow issues. You would just, you know, you would just be so happy with, with yourself. 
Uh, so you would go into the attribute editor by hitting Control A after you select the object, and then you would go to not drawing overrides. You go to object display, drawing overrides. You would check on the box enable overrides. So keep that on. Select a color to RGB, change it, and then you select a color, and from there it's blue. Now I think you can do multiples at a time, like multiple color changes. Type in the the cool mail script key, I think it's select minus high. And this should work, but if it doesn't, then it's only distinct for like tweaking um, skeleton joints. So let's see if this will work. If not, then we know. It only worked for one. So yeah, I'm sure there's probably a mail script for that. Uh, but to my knowledge, um, I don't know of any that would, you know, change them all at once. So we just have to go in one by one. And then for the other side, same thing. And once you get the, you know, this whole menu open, you know, once you do the left side, you don't have to really repeat it. It just kind of pops up like it did. Alright, no. Oops. I missed it. See? See what happens when it's late at night? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have left for blue. Sorry, blue for left, blue. Uh, red for right. There we go. Okay. So, there you go. Uh, that's the way to use drawing overrides. And so, this would be for colors for direction. The other colors would be like. Yeah, bright green probably yellow instead you can use yellow for like locators basically any color you want the thing is you want to always follow like conventions and I, I don't mean like Star Trek or you know Comic-Con or whatever I mean, I mean Comic-Con always wanted to go to but I haven't been to yet uh, but <laughs> um, when you start working with a team or working with you know for a boss, you want to make sure that you communicate thoroughly with them. Colors can mean a lot in the workspace. And if they say, "Hey, we need for these locators that would like ultimately," oh, how do I say this? Like, let's say these are pole vector locators. And what you would do is, um, you know, talk to the director or, or supervisor and you just go, hey, like, what color do you want those? That way I, I could send it off to, like, you know, after I rake it, you know, send it to, you know, the guy who, it really depends on the budget of the team, from what I heard. Uh, you would send it to, like, if it was low budget, you would just go from the rigging and to the animator. Uh, other people are like, well, the guy's going to make the rig, and then they're going to send it to somebody who knows the anatomy very well, and one guy would do like, you know, painting of the weights, uh, or, you know, they, stuff like that, you know, whatever it is necessary, uh, but oftentimes, like, locators would paint it, like, I think like yellow, sometimes you would just leave it at bright green, but then, you know, it's, you got to be kind of, kind of like, very thoughtful to like what you want to you know kind of pick so I would just pick like yellow just go from there um, oops there we go So yeah, same thing as always, enable overrides RGB, and I, yeah, select yellow, 
Uh, the other one only has one, so I probably screwed up somewhere. I think because I was playing with with index and it probably added two. Let me check real quick. No, it's just one. It's just these two. Yeah, so you would select the bottom, the bottom color. But yeah, you would talk to your supervisor, your teacher, uh, your director. Uh, if you have somebody you're working with, a fellow team member, uh, especially if you're rigging in the sense of like you're adding mail script and like you're paired with a programmer, and um, or you're just paired with an animator. I know they're using like this workflow where it'd be like two programmers now that are working. Like one's like a spotter and the other one's like a sniper. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the military thing. Uh, I'm not military, uh, but. Uh, you know, one would be a programmer, the other one would be like an artist. Um, I worked with somebody for a one month contract, and I was technically a, a game programmer, and he was a sound person. And so, uh, others might be technical artists, the other one would be animator. So, they're trying to work with that. Um, so, usually, uh, that can be very successful because then they can just work together as a team and, and try to figure out all the problems so like these would be yellow uh, other ones that might be you might have the sense of like I'll just say like somewhere up here not located uh, circle okay let's say like somewhere way up here was the hips the hips of the ostrich. <clears throat> and probably more down here, but it's kind of irrelevant since like I don't have like the geometry or, or the rig up here altogether. Um, I know sometimes some companies will have, not some companies, but schools will be either green, but be careful with that. Uh, others might have like this like orange color. Or they might just stick to a yellow. Yellows are good. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's just really to signal, you know, like hey, like this is something other than these two. You know, there's no left or right for the hips. Uh, but I have seen usage of green, but it just gets really confusing and just this massive headache. I, I've seen some people use orange, so that can be something. It's really just to help with just the thought process of everything and. Uh, or just, you know, visually being aware of what's left and what's right. Because you don't want to have to sit here and constantly like, oh, wait, is this right? You know, uh, is this left? Uh, which, what is this? You know, uh, it'll signal to even the animator, like, you know, in the, you know, the de development notes or communication notes. Uh, like, hey, if you want to manipulate the face, Use the purple locators, you know, or something like that, you know, um, or purple circles, or, you know, stuff like that. So that's kind of something how you can use the drawing overrides to, you know, to your advantage. It, it is a very sound and structured way of doing things, um, and it can only just better help you all together. So, anyways, take it easy.